to the channel welcome back to the vlog from the great sunshine state of florida of course no state is sunnier than the state of florida florida just flexing on the nation sorry utah uh but welcome back to the channel welcome back to another thursday which is tool time thursday look at all that sun um so it was a tool time thursday so i'm gonna go over a tool today you know, every week I try to do something a little bit different. Some of them traditional tools, some of them unconventional tools. You may only use every now and then, but as usual, if this is your first time checking out the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon for future uploads. Definitely like, share, comment, and share the vids. All right, let's get to it. All right, so today's tool that we're gonna be going over is going to be a coolant system um, tester. Usually if you have a small leak, uh, you're losing coolant, you may be um, as I said, losing coolant, your car may be overheating. You want to check to see if you have a leak in the system. So this is the snap-on right here. They go to part number, coolant system tester. Go ahead and open it up. So here it is. They got the radiator cap um, with the little cams to where you lock it down. It also has this, let me get a good view, it has this tester right here. It also has the tester gauge right here that you use to put in the pressure. Usually you don't want to go over 30 PSI. If you go over 30 PSI, it's going to automatically um, bleed off the pressure anyway. So usually check with your manufacturer to see what your system holds and don't go over 30 um, PSI. And always do this while the vehicle is cold. So. These are for the radiator, radiator caps. And some of the newer vehicles, like I'll show you on this Volvo behind me, doesn't have uh, a radiator cap. So you gotta use the expansion tank. So that's what these do. They fit on the expansion, those plastic pieces that fit on the expansion tank. So pretty much what you do, if you think you have a leak in the system, what you'll do, it has this pump. And you just, you hear it? you'll pump up the pressure in the vehicle. And then usually it lasts for several minutes to check to see if you have a leak. If it drops really fast, you have a big leak and you probably have already lose um, coolant. If you have a small leak, it'll gradually drop over the several minutes. So while you pump it up, have the pressure on it, you could be inspecting to see if you have any um, coolant coming from any fittings, water pump, hoses, the expansion tank might be cracked, anything like the radiator might be cracked. So if you put a little bit of pressure on it, it may force it out at the weakest point. So it's not an everyday tool, but I say it does come in handy, especially a lot of times when I uh, do a bunch of engine swaps and I always want to make sure that all the wires and everything, not the wires, all the connections for the coolant system is intact. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna connect it to the expansion tank and show you how it works. So I went over to connect these to the expansion tank on the Volvo, but of course, these that I have does not fit. So each one of these have a part number on there. And unfortunately, none of these fit the Volvo cause the Volvo has a smaller open in this, but I'm thinking this is the part number on here where you could order it from either Snap-on. I'm sure you could probably find a another company that makes these a little bit cheaper and then all you do with that is this is where you'd connect to the radiator um hose not the radiator but the radiator itself and you push it in and you pull pull it down to where it locks in to the stops there's some stops right here on the cam teeth so that way it locks in place not like that but <laughs> I'll put it back on there locks into place and then you, you tighten that down to put what this will do is also put a little bit of pressure on there as well and then it just holds it in place like this and then you build up the pressure and then you undo it and you take it off of the expansion tank and then this one have different radiator fitting sizes so I'm sure with these as well they have part numbers on them so you should be able to find a part number that correspond with your vehicle or the style of vehicle that you work on all the time. 
So that's the quick down and dirty for this week's Tool Time Thursday, a coolant pressure system pressure checker. You don't necessarily need to have this one, but this is the one that I like. And you also have to make sure that you have the one that fits the vehicles or your vehicle that you plan on working. You don't wanna do it and then find out in the end that it doesn't fit the vehicle that you want it to fit. So I think this is how it goes back in the box. So there it is. Again, snap on SVTS272. That's the part number. I'll put the price down in the description. As I said, you don't necessarily need this one. It's just one that I like and it's pretty cool and it adds to the rest of my snap on collection. And again, if this is your first time, as I said, checking out the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon for future uploads and definitely comment uh comment share and like um and yeah let me know any tools that you want to review look i got my snap-on hat today to do my tool review i'm sure the snap-on guy felt sorry that i spent all this money so he gave me a five dollar hat just kidding but again thanks for watching the videos I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service. Pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low. When no love goes. Women